We've all heard about drones. They are essentially unmanned aerial vehicles without any pilot. Up until now, these drones have been controlled through handheld devices. Our next report tells you how a prototype of a mind-controlled drone is uh, taking shape. All that the pilot has to do is focus more in this detailed report. Making an object fly simply through the power of your mind. Does this sound like a plot right out of a science fiction movie? Think again. This is what this new prototype of a mind control drone can do. Developed by a British defence company, it was unveiled at a Defence and Security Expo in England. Yes, sir. A person sitting behind a computer screen controls the movements through his or her thought. All there is to do is focus one's attention and eyes on specific circles on the computer screen. So what happens is that we create some uh, icons, we call them tags, and they have a, like a, a signal within them. Uh, and when you stare at that, your eye responds to it in a particular way. The, the way in which that eye response occurs is a signal that we pick up on the visual cortex of the brain at the back of the brain. So the sensor is looking for the signals we create here that come through the eyeball through the brain and then onto the visual cortex. Once we've got it there as a signal, we can grab that, we understand what that signal looks like and we can turn that into a command for whatever we're trying to control. Interestingly, the laptop doesn't use its webcam to look at the user. It is the human mind which instructs the drone. All through the brain sensor worn on the user's head. So a pilot can control the drone, make it take off and land, and even rotate it in the air. All through the power of the mind. So how would this technology be deployed? Well, the big advantage would be in the defense sector, since it reduces the number of handheld controllers used by soldiers. So what happens is, is that having gone through the training, the organization had a much better understanding of the individual and how the brain and body communicates. And from a soldier's well-being and welfare, that's just as important as they're optimizing their performance. So how this worked for us is that they developed the technology and I used all of the techniques that I've learned through the training and through the coaching to use the technology to show how the human can improve their performance and reduce their cognitive burden to use the technology better. The developers say that this technology can be applied in many sectors from unmanned ground vehicles to unmanned naval vessels and a lot more. There are even plans to develop a fully wearable device and test it on the battlefield. But technology as powerful and unpredictable as this always runs the risk of falling into the wrong hands, which is probably why scores of protesters lined up outside the expo demonstrating against the arms dealers present inside. So while deployment of this technology may be seen across multiple sectors, Using these drones ethically and responsibly will be the real game changer. We are a report, we on World is One. We on now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.